Hi, and welcome to this latest enablement video for NetApp Altifault Cloud Integrated Storage, the market-leading solution for protecting data to public and private cloud storage. In this session, we'll demonstrate how Altifault can integrate with Amazon's Snowball Appliance to see large initial datasets to its S3 object storage cloud. This approach eliminates the latency that would be incurred if Altifault was to transfer the data directly over the internet, thereby significantly reducing the wide area network requirements for the initial backup operation. To begin, let's do a quick overview of Altifault. Altifault is a simple, easy-to-use cloud-integrated storage appliance which provides access to backup applications via NAS protocols, including SMB, NFS, and OST. Backups are written to the appliance by any of the leading backup providers. The data is then optimized by applying a variable length inline deduplication, compression, and AES 256-bit encryption before it is saved to the Altifault local cache and replicating it to the Amazon Cloud using your internet link. Because solutions like Altifault require internet connectivity to access the cloud, Amazon recognized early on that the two key aspects to getting data efficiently into their cloud were the amount of data to be protected and the speed of the upload link to AWS. For example, uploading 50 terabytes of data to Amazon S3 across an OC3 internet connection running at 155 megabits per second could take a month to complete. Even if Altivault optimized this new data set with deduplication and compression, sending this data to Amazon could still take well over a week. With much larger data sets, Altivault could also run out of cache space because it cannot efficiently replicate data through that slow internet link. To help address the bandwidth problem for large initial data transfers, Amazon has produced a purpose-built storage appliance called Snowball. So, what is an Amazon Snowball? An Amazon Snowball is a 50 or 80 terabyte portable storage appliance which allows organizations to perform a large-scale data transfer of optimized data to Amazon S3 object storage, thereby avoiding the latency that would be incurred if a direct internet transfer was utilized. By leveraging Snowball, the same 50 terabyte data transfer would take less than three weeks to be placed in Amazon S3. In fact, because of Altifault's storage optimization techniques, a user could seed up to three times as much new data during the same period as compared to over three months if using a direct internet connection instead. The process to integrate Snowball with Altifault is simple. For a fee, a Snowball is ordered and delivered on-site where it is connected to your 10 gigabit network. The second step is then to have Altivault send the initial seed backups to this device instead of the Amazon Cloud. Once the backup data is loaded over your high-speed internet to Snowball, the third step is to ship it back to Amazon, who then uploads this data to your object storage bucket, thereby completing this large data transfer. Finally, Altivault is instructed to begin normal replication to the Cloud and will transmit any additional incremental backups typically deduplicated at much higher rates than the initial backups, to Amazon using the normal internet connection. Now that we understand the general view of the activity, let's take a closer look at how the operation is actually performed. When an Altifault is first deployed, you'll typically go through a GUI-based configuration wizard to establish a connection with the cloud provider and configure the front-end NAS interface to connect to your backup application. To review that activity, you can watch the deployment overview video that I've previously created. However, once you've accomplished these steps to set up Altivault, you won't be sending backups to Altivault quite yet. You'll also want to suspend replication so that Altivault doesn't write any data to Amazon. Disabling replication is performed in the Configure Cloud Settings page. At this point, you'll have your Amazon administrator log into the AWS portal to begin the snowball ordering process. Ordering the Snowball is actually straightforward. You'll create an import job and fill in the fields as required by the six-step wizard, including where the Snowball will be shipped, the name of your import job, the matching S3 bucket and region used by Altivault during the import process, and the size of your Snowball. As shown here, 50 terabytes and 80 terabytes are the supported size options today. In addition, you'll set up the security via an identity access management role so that the Snowball data can be allowed to be imported into S3. And finally, configure notifications if desired. The created job will move through the preparation and shipment phases and can be tracked by the job status page. In addition, you can get the necessary credentials associated with the Snowball job as well. 
This includes the unlock code to Snowball once it arrives on site and the manifest file that will need to be uploaded to UltaVault. Once Snowball arrives and is configured in your network, you'll need to upload the manifest file. The simplest way to do this is to place the file on a HTTP server and direct UltaVault to it using the seed snowball manifest file command. We can also validate that replication is disabled by running the show replication command. Now that we're ready, let's initiate the connection to Snowball by using the seed snowball start command, along with the IP address of where Snowball is located on the network and the unlock code provided previously by Amazon. A secret key argument must also be passed, which is used to secure the data on Snowball. With the connection established to Snowball, UltaVault will begin to move a copy of the data to Snowball from its local cache. Use the show seed command to verify the progress of the operation, which will move from 1 to 100% complete. Since this process can take a while, especially with large data sets, let's just jump to the end of the seeding operation. Once the seeding is complete, the copy status reported out of the show seed command will report paused, indicating that all the data has been seeded to the appliance from UltaVault. Additional backups to UltaVault can be done and then seeded before detaching Snowball. To perform additional seeding operations after an initial seeding operation, you would simply issue the seed Snowball resume command to have Snowball receive additional backup data from UltaVault. Once you're satisfied that all backups are seeded, You'll go through the steps to disconnect the snowball from the network and ship the appliance back to Amazon using the shipping procedure provided with the snowball. When Amazon receives the snowball, they'll upload the data from it to the requested cloud bucket in S3, and will notify you when this is done if you enable notifications during the snowball ordering phase. If another snowball job is needed to upload more data to the S3 bucket, you'll create a new job here to begin an additional seeding operation. However, if you are finished with the seeding operations, Altafault will now need to be instructed to validate the data that has been uploaded by Snowball to Amazon S3. This final phase is completed using the seed snowball verify command. To check on the status of the verify operation, issue show seed. When complete, the output of the verify command will indicate that it has completed successfully. In the unlikely event that there is a problem during the Snowball import operation to S3 and the verify fails, you'll receive an error message instead. With the data now successfully validated, you can begin the process of using Altafold as you normally would. Use the seed snowball stop and replication enable commands to bring Altafold back into normal operations, and it will connect to Amazon S3 and replicate any outstanding data and metadata it has collected since the snowball was sent back to Amazon. To conclude, Altafold continues to offer the greatest choice for protecting your backup data to Amazon. With support now available for Amazon Snowball, Altafold ensures that you have the most flexibility to protect backup data how you want and to where you want. With that, this concludes this quick demo on deploying UltaVault with Amazon Snowball. For more information, visit our page at www.netapp.com forward slash UltaVault.